Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Reds here. I'm back for another video. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit weird. I've got a cold and I'm not feeling too good. So, yeah. I hope you like this mic quality. It's the new one I recently got. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be showing you the trippy scope effect on Sony Vegas. I'm going to show you a quick example. Uh, ignore all this. It's just in this project I'm working on. Ignore this compliance. Where is it? So basically, this is what it looks like. Let me just skip these cinematics frame by frame. So basically, when you scope in like this, the scope will basically do that zoom back in and it will shoot. So this looks really cool and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So yeah, so now all you, you want to do is go new composition, OK. Sorry, ignore my Skype. You want to import a clip. I'm going to use one I've got in my videos. Sorry guys, this is really hard to see for me. Oh no, they're just cinematics. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry this is taking so long. So I'll just use the exact same clip. Get rid of the audio. So basically, all you want to do is crop out the video. That you don't need it, so like that. So as you can see it's like this. And you want to find where the guy scopes in. So there. You want to press S to split the clip. Then you want to find where he scopes out. So there. Now we're gonna insert a video track like this. You want to hold control on the clip where he scoped in and drag it up. And I just accidentally did both, but there. Now there's two of them. Turn the opticity down on this one so you click the top of it and just drag it down. Doesn't really make a difference, but yeah. So then all you want to do is right click on this, press event pan crop, go to mask right here, make this full screen. There you go. Now you want to click on this Eclipse tool, I think, it, no, Overwatch Circle Mask Creation tool and just select a little bit like that. Now all you want to do is drag it so only the scope is in the cir this circle crop thing. So I'm going to do that now. Sorry for not uploading in so long, guys, while I'm doing this, because um, I have been really sick. So, yeah, so you can still hear I've got a cold. But, yeah. So once you've done that, you just want to press Enter. Or you don't have to press Enter, but, yeah. So, um, then all you want to do is go to Position, zoom out a whole lot, go like this on the first keyframe. Then you want to go to the very last one here. Just do this. Then you want to move to the very last keyframe. Click this and press default. Like that. Now it should like this. And if you want to add the turning effect like I did, all you want to do is go to the pan crop. I'm going to get rid of this keyframe. Make this default. Default, drag it first, go to default, all you want to do is you want to zoom out a bit, move to a keyframe about there, you want to rotate it, I don't want to keep doing that, like this, oh, it skips one.
then you want to start zooming back in. That is a bit too much. While turning. So zoom, turn, next keyframe, let's just go there. Turn, go there, zoom, turn. Then you want to go to the last one, like that. Press default. Then it should like this, look like this. So as you can see it turns. Then if you want a background, all you want to do is go media generators, gradient, or any background really. Any one you want. So ignore my Skype. Oh, right click, insert video track. Oh, I'll just put it on top, it's fine. All you want to do is that. And there you go. So, yeah. You can put anything in there, but I think it looks best just with that. But yeah guys, that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tutorials, and peace out.